I'm predicting that it's not going to be able to do it because it's a tree and that's sort of fair enough. Your dramatic sunset too. What? It actually worked? Hey, how's it going? So today's video is sponsored by Luminar, which is an editing software. And today we're going to go out, I'm going to go take some photos of the sunset, it's just about to set. And then I'm going to come home and we're going to edit the photos. And I'm going to show you some of the things that Luminar 4 can do because I've played around with it a little bit and I'm like, I'm blown away by this software. I want to try to take some photos on the 24 to 70. I don't know whether that's going to be better. I've also got the 1 to 400, which is going to be a bit more zoomed in. So I think we'll get some sort of more wide shots and then some hectic zoomed in ones because I want to test out the sky replacement that Luminar 4 has, so we'll just get a couple of different shots. I think I got a good variation of shots. I got some wide ones, I've got some really zoomed in ones, so we can test the sky replacement on those two ones. So let's go home and start editing. I know with other editing softwares, you have to pay either monthly or yearly and it can be up to like a couple of hundred bucks. The good thing about Luminar 4 is that it's a one-time fee. So you buy it and then that's it. There's no subscription. Because you're watching my video, I've got a promotion for you and you're gonna get $25 off Luminar 4. So you can get it for 64 bucks if you're thinking about getting it. I love the clean layout of this software. Like everything's there. It doesn't look messy. It's just nice simple to use everything you need is here like you want to see the before and after like it's this button here nothing's hidden like you click on something something else automatically closes then to import photos is super easy you click on the plus symbol here and you go add folder with images and you can literally go to the folder you just click on that add folder and boom all your photos are just here so if we have a look at this shot here the sunset we got tonight just it wasn't a great sunset but that's that's good because we can just sky replace it in Luminar 4. We'll flip that sky because the sun's coming from that way. Already literally, what, five seconds? We go from that to like a nice sunset and it actually looks legit. Like there's no weird shit going on with the buildings here. Like maybe if you zoom into like 1000%, you can see the pixels, but like, bro, no one's zooming in that far. It just looks great. Like, like look at the way it just cuts through the buildings. Like you honestly wouldn't even notice. Like that's before after and if you see a little bit of the previous guys still in the image you can easily fix that by going over to the closed gap slider and you slide that up and that will literally just close all those gaps there's a before there's the after before after and we still have all the details in the top of the building here i want to try it with this shot here i'm interested in seeing how it goes with this tree i'm predicting that it's gonna it's not gonna be able to do it because it's a tree and that's sort of fair enough like i understand what photos this would work on just when it's like a nice clear sky with nothing in the way but let's have a look what it actually worked wait wait, wait, wait. what do you mean are you... Wait, what? How does it know? Let's try another sky. Let's try a different one. It just does it. It just works. Okay, let's go before, after. <laughs> what? The actual... And it cut around the buildings perfectly. Like, before, after. No buildings are cut off. There's no sky on top of the building anywhere. All right. Luminar 4, you've done a fucking good job. Now that we've done that first sky replacement, we're gonna go through some of my older photos and just go through some different parts of Luminar 4, just to show you what the software can do and what it's capable of. When I saw the ads about this, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be sky replacement. Yeah, let's see how it goes. And then I got the software and then I tried it out and have a look at this, like as if that does it so well. And look, it literally cuts it out of that little hole there, that little one there. If we go the before, after, before, after. It even cuts it out of like these little parts here. Like that's actually just insane. Look at that little tree. Look at this little tree here, ready? Look at the before, after. Here's another good example. Like look at this whole area here. There's got like a little red light as well. All these little buildings in literally in between these structures here. Ready? Before, after. I, I honestly don't even think you could do this if you tried with like the pen tool. And you can also flip the sky as well. I like it better on this side, I think. But that's like one of the skies. There's heaps more. Like we'll try this one here. 
That's sick. It's just like crazy. Something I really like about the sky replacement is they've got advanced settings. So like you can go and relight the scene. So if I turn that all the way down, you can sort of see like a bit of a glow around the building, but you relight the scene and it actually just looks legit. I wanna show you another feature that this has. This creative tab is probably my favorite part of this software. Sunrays is insane. Like I've never seen a software being able to do this before. So if you click it on, look what happens. It essentially creates a fake set of sun rays. So save your shot just looks like that. You know, there's no sun rays or anything, just normal lighting. You turn this feature on and you just get sun rays. But the way it works is insane. Like have a look at this. If I drag it around the trees, the sun rays adapt and pierce through the trees as if it was like a legitimate sun ray. Like what? <laughs> like, what do you actually mean? It's insane. Like, I don't know how it does this. The people at Luminar 4, I don't know what magic you've put into this software, but it's bloody good. I reckon I could sit here for hours just doing this. Oh, look at that. Like, see that tree there? Let's see what happens if you put it in the water. <laughs> it's like, wee. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's that image done. Sweet. Nice sun rays in the water. Never hurt nobody. <laughs> We can change the ray length. So if you want them nice and short, or if you want them like huge, you can like choose that. Like for me, I think the biggest sun rays would work better. The overall look is gonna like darken everything else to pretty much accentuate these sun rays. So if I click done on that, I can actually go and open it in Lightroom. So you can either use Luminar 4 as your sole editing software. And if you're a beginning and you've never used Lightroom before, that is a really good option. And if you're on a budget, if you do have Lightroom as well and you want to use it as a plugin, you can also do that. So now it's going to open that image up as a TIFF file. So this is a this is a phone image, by the way. So if I just go and chuck a preset on, give it a quick little edit in Lightroom. There's a before, there's the after. And we've got all those sun rays there, which we've got from Luminar 4, which is sick. The way that I use this software is definitely the plugin version because I'm familiar with Lightroom. I know how it works and it's just been my editing software for years. As a plugin, it's insane. Before we move on, I just want to quickly see if we can sky replace this image of Mike Slav squatting on a cliff. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Before, after. Just, just a little, little. And imagine you could like do this in real life. You walk outside your room and you just have a remote and you just go sky replace. I reckon that is actually going to be something in the future. I don't know about you, but I just don't know how to retouch skin. Like I see all these people on Instagram and like they shoot models and this model's skin just looks insanely good. And I'm like, how do you like retouch skin like that? And I know there's this thing called frequency separation, which is like some sort of Photoshop method. I don't even know if you know what frequency separation is, but it's a lengthy process if you do know. And it pretty much just makes the skin look nice and smooth. If we go into the portrait tab here, we've got all the different effects. So we've got the skin enhancer, portrait enhancer, high key and the Orton effect. So if I go onto the skin enhancer and I just put it up, skin is just instantly smooth. It's like Facetune, but for raw images. And then there's also this AI skin defect removal. So if the model's got like pimples or anything that is considered a defect, you can get rid of it like that. So you just click on that and it would just sort of go through and just get rid of those things. So that's before, after, before, after. Now, obviously if you want to go in and actually make this, the model look like a legitimate mannequin, you can go and do that. But I think this is good enough. For me, I don't like to go overboard with retouching a model's skin. I just like to do a little bit. This is a really good way to properly retouch, but not go overboard. So this next section is pretty cool. Like let's use this photo of Shalom here. So as you can see, the lighting's coming from the left and this other part of her face is just not lit up. So we can go into the portrait enhancer and go to this face light here and watch it just bring out the face. It's like having a light on your shoot, but you just do it in post. So if I just bring this up to maybe around there, then her face isn't completely sort of in the shadows. You can also do slim face, which I personally don't understand why they have that. I would never use this or enlarge eyes. Like you can make the model's eyes big, but like, I don't know why you'd do that, but it's there if you want to do that. Improve eyebrows, literally just somehow finds the eyebrows and just makes them darker. This is the part I really like. So whenever I'm shooting a model, I find that it's really hard to just make their lips more red and get their lips like the right color. So you can literally just go in here and go lip saturation and it will just affect the lips. But if I want to go lip redness, it's literally like adding lipstick to your model. 
and you can like control that to however much you want. Lips darkening, it's gonna darken them and then teeth whitening. I don't have a photo of anyone smiling, so I am sorry. I probably should have got that ready for this video, but it's all good because there's a lot of other things we can show you. Before, after of just those slight little retouches and then you can go ahead and open that in Lightroom and edit that. When you do effects on your photos in Luminar 4 and if you shoot in RAW, if you then decide to go and edit in Lightroom, it's not gonna open it as the RAW image, it's gonna be a TIFF file. So it's still gonna have a lot of data, but not the same as a RAW. I just thought I'd let you know that. I've got this photo of Luna here, who was a model, one of the models from the Purge shoot. First of all, let's appreciate how sharp the Sigma 35 F 1.2 is. Like, like what? I managed to get the eye in focus, which I'm happy with. Like 90% of my photos, the eyes are just always out of focus. But if you go into the portrait enhancer, have a look at what this eye enhancer does. Ready? You slide it up and it literally just brings out all those details in the eyes. Like how sick is that? And then the model just looks like hectic. That's the before. That's the after, just really helps bring out those details. Say the model's got some shadows under the eyes because of, I don't know, lighting or something. You can go into dark circles remove. That's just gonna fill in all these spaces here and just make them nice and light. That pretty much sums up everything I wanted to talk to you about Lumina 4. I think it's a cool software. I think it's cool how technology is slowly advancing to the point where now in softwares like Lumina 4, AI is helping us edit our photos. If you're thinking about getting Lumina 4, there's a link in the description which will give you $25 off so you can get Lumina 4 for $64 instead of $89. They do offer a seven day free trial for Lumina 4, but if you're thinking about just getting it and just buying it, and if you want to get $25, off use the link in the description for that i'm keen to keep on using luminar 4 i want to use it a bit more try out a lot of the different things because of its ability to just simply put like i don't know a moon in your photo because it can do it so easily i think it opens up heaps of new pathways for you to just be creative because you don't have to sit there and like stamp around something and then mask it out it's just like boom you want a moon Boom, put the moon in. So I'm excited to do a bit more creative stuff with it. If you do end up getting Luminar 4 and do some creative edits with it, tag me on Instagram at 7th Year because I'd love to see what you do. But that's all for today's video. If you did like it, remember to leave a like. Help me out by hitting subscribe. And as always, don't think, just do. Repetition shop and blaze. Like me, 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 she my serving up every single plate. The hottest in the season, even summer looks away. Cause I got something to prove I'm here cause I pay my dues So please tell me something new I'm in the...